I might surprise you with some of my picks this week. Uh oh. Yeah, it's gonna be an interesting one. Uh, week two is always interesting because Rob, you don't know, right? You don't know what 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 was real in week one. You know what I mean? Is Pittsburgh right. really that good? Is Philadelphia really that good? Is Atlanta really that bad? And so on and so forth. And Atlanta's of, really that bad. I'm gonna say that. I, I yeah, just, I, I I do tend to Chris, agree with that. Chris, something's not right with that. Or I I know they, you know, got a new coach, and I I I just. Yeah, I mean, hey, you got to give it time, but uh, it was bad. It was ugly a week ago, that's for sure. Um, But several quarterbacks, several big-name quarterbacks, Rob, struggled mightily. Aaron Rodgers, uh, Andy Dalton, I mean, he's not much of a name, but, you know, he struggled. Uh, Baker Mayfield, Carson Wentz, Dak Prescott, Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, all of those guys lost, Rob, and you know the stat when you're 0-2, it is only about 12% of the teams make the playoffs that start 0-2. Certainly not impossible, but it's tough. And in the last two years, even last year, Rob, when they expanded to 14 teams in the playoffs, right? even last year, all 11 teams that started 0-2 missed the playoffs. So the last year, 20 teams started 0-2, 20 failed to get to the postseason. So that in and of itself, yeah, yeah, that puts pressure on all the quarterbacks that lost last week. But I'm going to throw this out to you, Rob. What quarterback do you think this week is facing the most pressure? I'm going to say... To me, it's not Aaron Rodgers... Um, I think it's more about uh, Dak Prescott and it's more about um, who's the other one that's on the tip of my tongue? Baker. And Baker Mayfield. Those two guys, Chris and Baker, you know, like they played well enough early on to win that game. It didn't happen. I think, right, Baker had no touchdowns in that game, correct? Right. But he played. But, he didn't play. No, he poorly. played pretty well. I know. Yeah. I know. But I'm just saying. Uh, I think it's a big game for Cleveland because they're the ones trying to prove that it wasn't a fluke and that and they're at home. It's an important game for them. They don't want to be 0 two. I'm going to say, and and Dallas doesn't want to be 0 two, although they're in a a weaker division. But right. Philly they'll, won. They'll be able to survive. Right. They, could, they might be that team, Chris, that bucks it, being 0-2 and, and still be able to win that division. But Washington won a game it had to win and should have lost. That's a good sign when you can win a game that just, you should have lost. And Philadelphia, is it fool's goal or not, played well and won game they one. Sure did. So Hurts that's another really one. Right. He played, he played great in that game. So I'm going to say it's Baker Mayfield – and the Browns. I think Baker Mayfield, they, they have to win that game. Well, first to get to the 0-2, um, I, I do think this year there'll be a few teams, if, if they lose. Like, if Baltimore Rob loses to Kansas City, which there's no shame there, I still think they would make they, – they'd have a great shot at making the playoffs. You know, they could bounce back from that. Uh, and I think Cleveland you – now Cleveland – won't lose to the Texans, I don't believe. But um, if 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 well, Green Bay won't lose either. Um, <laughs> Dallas, as you said, they'll they should be able to survive uh, in that NFC least. So right. Um, the reason I don't put the pressure on Baker is because Rob, I can't even fathom. I can't even vision. I can't imagine conjure up daydream about them losing to the Texans. The Texans played well, Chris. I know you wanted that. I know it was Jacksonville. Yes, it was Jacksonville. It was Jacksonville. You give them a little uh, feeling of, you know, like you can, like they were supposed to have a gloom and doom season. And they come, they were, they were underdogs in their own building against a rookie quarterback and a rookie NFL head coach. That's how bad people thought they were going to be. That team didn't show up on Sunday. That's all I'm saying. They look good. They look good. I give you that. But 
I just can't imagine. And I'm with you. I, I see. That's why I don't think there's pressure on Baker because I think they're going to win. Definitely. But to your point, if they do lose, now all of a sudden Baker is definitely got the target on his back. Uh, Dak, Dak played so well in week one, and I know he didn't win, and, and that's been the thing. He puts up these numbers, but they don't win. But these numbers were different, Rob. And you know that, like last year, a lot of those big games, because he didn't have a huge game every game. He had three incredible games as far as yardage. No, One right, he threw for right. over 500, two others he threw for well over 400. But they lost. And those games, those yards came in the second half when they were down big and the defense was soft because the lead was big. And on in last week against Tampa Bay, I mean, he, he moved the ball up and down the field and just got no support from the defense. So I don't put, that's why I don't put the pressure on him or Baker. I'm going to put it on Aaron Rodgers. I'm going to put it on Aaron Rodgers. I didn't say Andy Dalton because, you know, come on. We don't expect much from Andy Dalton. We're not going to – if he goes out there and has a clunker, you know, it's almost expected. So I'm going to put it on Aaron Rodgers. Uh, Obviously, he's got the better track record than any of these guys, and I do believe he'll bounce back. But, Rob, none of the other quarterbacks – and this could be totally unfounded, but there are enough players saying – or people saying it, Rob – that they don't think he's all in. That they don't think he's committed. And I heard Albert Breer from, you know, NFL Insider uh, on the herd saying that there's some feeling within the organization. Some people are perturbed with it because they feel like, you know, they didn't like his attitude when he came back. And, you know, they don't feel like he's acting like he's committed. And See, but 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 I but I, I got I, I'm Adam Kaplan made the greatest point of all. It, it as poorly as he played, that defense was horrendous. The offensive, there, there were a lot of issues there, Chris. But, I'm we, not make, but I'm, they're not Aaron Rodgers. No, you know I, what get I'm I, I get right. that. I get that. I mean, but, none but, of but I'm just well, saying, but. like, like I, it's easy, and I and and I get it because of his off season because he didn't right. do the off season. I get it. So he's going to be the guy. But there were a lot of things. That 38-3 to wasn't just Aaron Rodgers. That, that, they didn't play well. That defense was awful. But, but you're right. The, the spotlight will be on him. And if he throws four touchdowns and has 400 yards against the Lions or whatever it is, then uh, I don't know. Is it, is then, the you're next not, thing? then it's end of the story. Right, is it in the end the of the story, story or is it because it was the Lions? You know what I mean? Like, well, there will be – I just think it will come back to normal where – Everything will be back to normal with Aaron Rodgers as far as us, you know, these questions won't be asked anymore. The questions that will be asked, Rob, are, okay, what are they going to do against San Francisco, which has a really good defense? It's not going to be, oh, Aaron's not all in, he's not committed, so he might not play well. Uh, I think it will just be, you know, can they beat the Niners? And then they got Pittsburgh after that. Can they beat Pittsburgh? You know, so – I do think he'll write it this week, uh, write himself. Heck, who, who the doc? Just what the doctor ordered is the Lions. That's oh, sure. no, no, no doubt. It's you a Monday night game. game, right? You know that, right? It's it's it a, is it's Monday a night too, wait, right? Them, yeah. So everybody's gonna watch it. But I and I'm not saying Rob that I buy into the notion that he's not committed. I'm just saying that it's even out there is you know something you don't want, and so. I, I put the pressure on him because if he doesn't play well, then it really ratchets up. And while they're certainly talented enough to bounce back from 0-2, it would be, I, I think, the Rob, people would be talking about the Packers all week long. What is wrong with Aaron Rodgers? Well, yeah, if he has he's another bad commi- game, because yeah. I was going to say, I don't know, we can look it up, but I doubt he's ever had – two interceptions back-to-back game? Because if you look at his interceptions career-wise, no, That's wise, a good Chris, question. Right? Hey, that's a good I, point, he, yeah. He, like, he might throw four or five interceptions all year. I wonder how many games he's ever had with back to, you know, back-to-back two interceptions or more right. in back-to-back games. Because that's the only way he's going to play poorly if he throws two interceptions. He's got to do Certainly that. Certainly not any, uh, recently. I mean, Rob, 
He hasn't thrown double figure interceptions since 2010. Right. It's been a lot. He's only done years. it twice in his career. So, yeah, I, I, I'm with you on you that. You know what I mean? Like, it would take an effort, a, a performance like that. And I just don't expect that to happen. But we'll see. No, I, I mean, I'm he's with got you. Some, I, I don't yeah. either. 